Hi, I'm Lana. And this is Sherry. And this is Real Estate Tips with SNL. Today, Sherry, let's yes. talk about the multiple listing service status, which we're going to refer to as the MLS. So the MLS is a tool that we as agents use to upload listings. So let's talk about the status like right. that we see on the listings. Right. So mm -hmm. when a listing is due, the status is new. new. <laughs> and it sits out there for a few days as new, and then eventually it automatically shifts to active. Both new and active mean the same thing. You know, that property is available for showings. It is available for sale. Now, once an offer has been accepted, the status changes. And we have what we call contingent, CTG. Basically, that means that the seller has accepted an offer, yep. but is still allowing showings for backup offers. Now, if it's listed as CTG, there needs to be a reason. You know, that oh, right. sort of sets a time limit. So the reason could be home inspection, it could be the signing of the purchase and sale, it could be financing. But during that period of time, the property is still available for showings, but the seller has already committed to another offer. Another option is a kickout clause. Kickout clause simply means that the buyer and the seller have both agreed that the seller can entertain other offers even though they've accepted an offer and the buyer has a right of first refusal. They may have 24, 48 hours, sure. who knows, to either remove whatever contingencies they have and move forward with the purchase or they can back out, get their deposit back and the seller can entertain the other offer. We typically see that with like a home sale contingency, yeah. but there could be other reasons. You know. So when can they not go see it? Okay, UAG, uh. under agreement. Pretty simple, the, the seller has accepted an offer, there are no more showings on the house, it is no longer available. Here's another one, BOM, back on market. Mm -hmm. Property was on deposit, was under contract, and it fell apart for some reason. So there's an opportunity for the buyer to now go look at the property and submit an offer. Or you can also see RAC, reactivated. Reactivating from a listing that the contract expired and now it's just being reactivated and available for showings. Yeah. What about like temporarily withdrawn? Maybe the seller has some repairs. Maybe it's a personal reason they need to come off the market for a short time. But we know that that is going to be coming back because they're just temporarily removing it. Correct. And then also the expired. The property just didn't sell. So right. it is no yep. longer on the market. It's not available. Yeah. Listing contract is ended right. and, you know, it's no longer out there. The last but not least one is sold. S-L-D. <laughs> yeah. That would be a seller's favorite status. And certainly that's our goal is to get you there. Why are we talking about these statuses in MLS? Most likely the average consumer isn't seeing that out there. I don't think they ever I, do. You know, I, or not, not much sure. of it. sure. There might be some websites that pick it up, but certainly, you know, we see it as mm -hmm. your real estate agent. We're going to have access to it. And mm. that's going to provide some, you know, could be some valuable information information on the listing history that may help you as uh, a buyer that's interested in a property. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I hope you found this information helpful. You can reach Sherry or myself at Coldwell Banker in Lemonster. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.